We've done like combining the whole numbers, right? But now I want us to combine fractions, right? So if I say, for instance, half of a quarter, because we had halves and quarters before, but now I want a half of a quarter. Hmm. Following this pattern, how do I write this in terms of numbers? Maybe someone who hasn't said something yet. Yeah, Tendai. Half times a quarter. Very good. The of is the times, yeah. right? Okay, now before we jump it to an answer, right, and this is what your pencil is for, let's draw this thing. Okay, let's draw this. So if I have a square here that represents one whole, okay, remember it represents one, one whole. So I can divide this up in order to get some fractions, okay? If I want half of a quarter, let's do the quarters first, okay? Let's do the quarters first. So I'm going to divide this up into four. I guess I'll do it like this. They're quarters. I mean, it's not perfect, but you get the idea, right? So I've got one, two, three, four quarters. Okay, now if I just want half of a quarter, okay, I'm going to, if you've got another color, okay, I'm going to take one of the quarters and I'm going to slice it right down the middle, right? Like this. That green thing there is half of one of the quarters, right? Now, see this green rectangle I've got here, right? How many of these green rectangles can I fit in the hole? Yeah. I can fit eight, right? Like if I put a few more lines in, you can see I've got eight of these, right? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in green, what I have shaded is one eighth, because there are eight of them in the hole. So it's one eighth, right? And you can see just like before, from here to here, right? It's one times one, that gives you a numerator. And then it's two times four, that gives you the denominator, okay? This is a bit weird because it's completely different to addition, right? Do you remember addition? We said a half plus a half, right? You add the numerators, don't you? But you leave the denominators. That would be one, right? But with multiplication, something different happens. And you can see visually why. Let's do something a little different, a little more challenging. How about two thirds of a quarter before you jump at an answer? How would you draw it? What would it look like? Start with a square. Start with a square. You put it down on your page. Put it down on your page what you think it would look like. I can see some drawings. You've got your quarters there. You're going to start with that. Now, if I want not half a quarter, but two thirds of a quarter, you look at say one of them, and you say, well, I want I want two thirds of this shape. So if I divide it up into thirds like that, okay, I want two of those, right? There's one and there's two. Okay. Now then, I want to ask the question just like before. Well, how many of those things? Can I fit in the entire shape, right? And if you put some extra lines, you'll see. Josh, do you want to suggest? Twelve. Twelve. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I've got seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, there are twelve of these smaller rectangles, and here I've got two of them, right? Now, just to confirm this, just like we did here, how would you rewrite this sentence with all the numbers in place? Yeah, but not. Awesome. Okay, just like before, because we're multiplying, you multiply the numerators, you multiply the denominators. On the top, you're going to get 12. And on the bottom, sorry, 2. And on the bottom, you're going to get 12. Uh, just as Josh said. Now, this is really cool. We could stop there. But in this particular example, we can go a little bit further, can't we? What could we do? Uh, yeah, Ethan. Can't you go and then put a line through the middle. Yeah, very good. So I could say like 2 over 12 
is equivalent to one out of six. And that makes sense, because if you have a look at this now, if I put in a few less lines, like say, take out that one, and, hold on, yeah, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Look at that now. This is the same shape. I didn't change any of the lines. I just got rid of some of them. And now you can see, look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. One sixth. Does that make sense? Yeah. 